welcome to this introductory video on genetics and we're going to be looking at the three major fields of genetics so genetics is divided into three major areas of studies first you have classical genetics followed by molecular genetics and then evolutionary genetics so we we'll start right away with classical genetics when you hear of classical genetics it talks of uh, the genetics of crosses that's Mendelian crosses and non Mendelian crosses. You can see it deals with Mendel's principles, meiosis and mitosis, sex determination, sex linkage, chromosomal mapping, and cytogenetics. So that is the first area of study under genetics. The second major area of studies under genetics is molecular genetics. Now, molecular genetics deals with the study of our genetic material. It deals with the study of DNA, uh, the building blocks of DNA, the abnormalities in DNA. And it equally deals with the study of protein synthesis and the abnormalities that could occur in the, pro in the process of protein synthesis. So you can see transcription and translation. Those are the processes of protein synthesis. So it equally studies the control of gene expression, silencing a gene from expressing itself, and so on. So that is molecular genetics. And the last, the third, oh, the third field or area of studies under genetics is evolutionary genetics. Now, evolutionary genetics is sometimes known as population genetics. And it deals with the study of a population, the study of uh, the evolution, the speciation, and uh, it could equally deal with uh, it equally deals with the Hardy Weinberg equilibrium. Means the, this is the the genetics of population, population studies. So population genetics deals with the study of the evolution of living organisms, uh, the speciation. That is the species, and uh, it equally deals with the Heide Weinberg equilibrium. So, basically, those are the three main fields of studies under genetics. So, when you when you go for a genetics class, you may start with classical genetics, later to molecular genetics and evolutionary genetics or population genetics. So, a brief rundown is that classical genetics deals with Mendelian and non-Mendelian crosses. Molecular genetics deals with the human genome, the structure of the human genome, the chemistry of the human genome, and it equally deals with protein synthesis. Now, for population genetics, it deals with evolution of a population over time, space, the species, the various species, and uh, it equally deals with the Heide Weinberg equilibrium. So. This is uh, a rundown of how genetics or how or of how the study of genetics look like. So thank you.